Welcome. In front of me is Adoro 8035, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So I'll progress to the setup a little bit further just to show you that this device is locked. Uh, you can in the meantime connect to Wi-Fi, which we will need. Now I already have done that, so you can see that it automatically skips that step. And once you connect to Wi-Fi, you probably want to go to basically the verification screen uh, and just tap on the field where you need to type in just so the keyboard pops up. So once you're here, tap on it. And where you have the add symbol, if you hold it, it will actually show you settings. So tap on the settings. Then there are keyboard settings. Scroll down till you see private uh, privacy policy. Tap on show. Just enable permissions. Allow and allow. And it will open up the browser. So from here, you want to go into YouTube. Considering this browser, it doesn't really work for what we need it to do. So let's go to youtube.com. From here, you can search for Like so. Choose the channel right here and click on whatever, whichever video doesn't really matter. Most of them have a link in the description to the website, as you can see. So tap on the link and this will, this link will actually open Chrome, which we will use. So just tap on accept and we don't want to sign in at the moment. So no thanks. Okay, so from here, tap on the three bars and go into the download. Now scroll down and in the field for download, you want to type in, let's choose the classic. Uh, in the field for download, you want to type in Android 7.1.2. So Android. 7.1.2 as you can see in the field so let's just search for it now and it opens up this so tap on the download button down here scroll down and once more tap on the download open in Cognito if it doesn't want to download it. Unless I just lost internet. Okay, let's tap on continue. Allow. Okay, so load it and tap on OK. And there is the first one, as you can see, FRP. So I just go back and disregard this. It's again the download and uh, yeah, I lost internet. So let me just fix this. Okay. And this time in a download field, you want to search for, again, I'll just type this. Uh, you want to search for settings, like so. 
and this is it so tap on download again scroll down and once more tap on download okay and it's done so now that we have downloaded both of them you can tap on the three dots right here and go into the downloads folder and for some reason i only have one which is amazing so let's actually go back and we download the one that for some reason didn't download Go to Android. There we go. 712. There we go. Search and again download. Yep. Okay, so there we go. So from here, number one, you want to install the, the FRP uh, bypass, uh, the first one, uh, which we have downloaded, which is the Android 7.1.2. Uh, Just go into the settings and allow from unknown sources. Okay. And go back. And once more, tap on it. Next, install. Okay, so once it's done installing, you don't want to open it, just click on done. And now install these settings. Okay. And open. Now from here, number one, we want to go into security. So security, scroll down to device administrators. And where you have find my device, tap on that deactivate for this administrator cool go back and now let's go into apps right here and from here you want to tap on three dots and go into system or show system and now scroll down to g we have google no there we go um, so number one, we're looking for Google account manager right here, disable and disable app, uh, go back and now, ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm at the bottom right now. So Google play services, there we go. So that's the second one that we're looking for. And disable that. Okay. And now what you want to do is go back to the main page. So right here. And we want to go into accounts. Tap on add account. Google. Okay, so it's automatically going. Um, now once you have the field, just log in using your email and address um, you can if you don't have one you can always create it as you can see create account uh, probably would be better to do it on a computer uh, than on here um, but once you create it you can then use it to log in here so I'm, i actually already have one so i'm not gonna create one so okay let's tap on next I'm going to put in a password for this. And you will see this thing right here. So terms of service, let's agree to it. Uh, disregard the app crashing, uh, it doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, but this update is at the Google account anyway. Uh, before, if you would try this, uh, the Google option would not even exist there. So it doesn't matter that it's crushing it now. 
it did its purpose. So from here you want to go back and re-enable the apps. So let's go back to apps, again show system and go to G, there we go. Um, so there we go, there is a disabled one, Google Play Services, and let's enable it. And go up to Google Account Manager, enable that. Go back and hold power key now, select reboot. Okay. And wait for the device to boot back up. Okay, so now that we're back in the setup screen, now you want to go to the setup. Uh, now it doesn't really matter what you do, just skip through most of it. And as you will see now, we can actually skip the verification. It will basically detect our account that we have added before the reboot. So just tap on OK. And you can see account added and it's the one that we have at least i have added before the uh, reboot you should have yours here so we can just tap on next without actually adding anything now okay so let's set up as new Now keep in mind that once we get access to the home screen, uh, we will still perform a hard reset of the device uh, through the settings. That will basically remove any kind of leftovers from the previous account and the account that we have added right now. And after the reset, the device will be fully unlocked and you can just completely not add anything. There won't be any verification needed or bypass. It will just work as, a, as though the device is new. So hopefully this will Finish quickly. So let's finish this up. So you can see that we're now on the home screen. So you want to go into the settings right here and scroll down to a general option. Again, scroll down to advanced settings. And from here, again, all the way down to backup and reset. And then choose factory data reset reset phone and you can see that it will remove account which it shows right here the account that we have added but it will also remove the account that was previously blocking this device so that's what we want to do so tap on erase everything and let the reset begin and once it's done you can then set up your device as however you like
Okay, and as you can see now the process is finished. Uh, now again I'm gonna skip through most of this, uh, but the key difference now would be the fact that I can completely not connect to Wi-Fi and just skip this, which if there would be some kind of verification needed, I would be wouldn't be able to do that, so And like I said, you can set up your device as however you like, so you can connect to Wi-Fi now, add the name of the device, uh, set up your Google, whatever you want, you can now do it. Stop and agree. And there we go. And as you can see, the device is now fully unlocked and ready to be used. So. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.